Hey YouTubers, my name is Optical Lex and welcome to our Active Aggression USA Guide. If you just picked up the game and a little clueless on what to do then hopefully this guide will help you out and point you in the right direction. Um, if you've literally only just got it and you haven't played a game yet then the very first thing I suggest you do is um, go into a sandbox game and the way you do this is if you go to solo go wait and skirmish then go to closed on the enemy so that it's just you in the game and then launch and the reason to do this is to familiarize yourself with the game and its mechanics and the different buildings that are in the game so Basically, you start off with your HQ. There it is, all nice and shiny. And you got your map to your right and um, left, and you got your menu bars on your right. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is learn how to use the hotkeys, which is a shortcut on how to uh, access buildings. So. For instance, if I wanted to access a barracks, which is one of the very first buildings you want to start with, with a USA, is press Z, oh, Z and B, and then it brings up the barracks. And that's just using hotkeys so that I don't have to go out, click it, and then click the barracks. So I'm saving myself a second or so in doing so. So it's pretty useful to Get familiar with the hotkeys, so if I press Z and then press R, it's the refinery, and so on and so forth. So I'm actually going to go and build a barracks now. Just place it there. Add your service, sir. And in the meantime, while that's building, I'm going to select my recon team, which is your basic scouting unit and resource uh, location finding unit. So when you select him, I'll collect some samples there. and move him. Move right click. But um, I'm actually going to team him up. Using, We're going to um, check this perimeter. Control. Building completed. I'm one. We're going to check this him. perimeter. So now, if I'm off screen, I can double tap one, and it'll zoom straight to him. So with the I'll collect some samples recon there. team selected, I'm going to move him over here to these oil fields. We're gonna check this perimeter. Sir, I'm thrilled to uh, announce that we found oil. The reason we're gonna do this is because oil there. is your main resource and it's the next thing you wanna go for. So, select your HQ by clicking or, pro tip, you can use the selection button here. So, I selected my HQ, I'm gonna press Z, and I'm going to press R. And there we go, it brings up the refinery. Now, one thing to note is you can rotate buildings um, either using tab or clicking and holding down and then drag. Dragging in the direction you want it. So I'm happy with that. But you want to, when you place some refineries, you've got to make sure that all of the um, oil fields are in its vicinity. As you can see, it represents your number by 14 of how many. Uh, oil deposits are in that area. You want the maximum amount. Um, placing it there, look, is only seven. And six over, over there. So placing it here is the perfect position. And I'm gonna wanna face it towards my HQ. For some reason, there we go. So while you're building that, select your barracks. And then you want to head over to here. This is a bank which generates extra resources, which is pretty useful. You can uh, select a rally point from your barracks by just right clicking the uh, bank while your barracks is selected. And then you can train out some soldiers to capture the bank. You need six soldiers to get the maximum profit from the bank. And each soldier generates five credits per tick. So you want to basically Building completed. and have a 
have it with soldiers in them. I generally use five marines and one javelin. The one javelin is used to uh, destroy enemy vehicles that come down this road since it's the fastest route to your base directly. And an enemy will use a escape vehicle and try to find you in the early game. So it will, I'll collect some samples the javelin there. soldier inside will probably kill it, which is what you want. Next, um, we found an aluminum vein, sir. yeah, we want to go for aluminum, as he's just notified me. We're going to check this perimeter. So after your first refinery, you're going to want to build another refinery and go for aluminum. Make sure it's facing your base with the arrows. There's a rare earth deposit it. here. While you're doing this, your service, sir. make sure you're always scouting. We're going to check this perimeter. I can send him on a little rally point uh, waypoints so uh, hold in shift and click in the map now I'll collect some samples there and he's gonna go around I'll the collect some samples there there's a rare earth deposit right building in, completed shift, well by right pressing shift and then right clicking on the map you can set waypoints for any unit um, so yeah another thing to know when you're building your refineries, you might want to build some levels. These buildings store uh, extra resources for you. They're also a drop-off point for uh, your refineries. And also, whenever you build your refinery, get an extra truck. Because um, the distance it travels, you're going to be wasting uh, some resources, as you can see building completed. this yellow bar here. That represents the amount of resources that the refinery is generating. So I built another truck. But the um, truck uh, took the resources out and I was delivering to the land that I just built. So it's shortening the journey between drop-offs, which uh, in turn will generate more oil for cooling the long run. You could do the same with aluminium and uh, the refinery over here. The land. There. So you're just minimizing the travel time. And having twos, good. As you see there, resources are being built up in the refinery as it's refinery. Building completed. So now that's done. Truck will automatically drop off there. And when you hover over the truck, it'll tell you. So you see, in the meantime, my skin has been going to announce that we found oil. Looking for extra resources, extra oil and aluminium. We found here. an aluminum vein, sir. So that'll be useful for later on. Um, anyway, next, we're gonna go for some power. You're gonna need power to um, aim access to the next building you want. And while you're building that, it's a good idea to build a few extra. Building trees. completed. I'm gonna build an extra six, five marines and one javelin. So I plan on going for the Sir, bank to over here. We found oil. So have the power plants built. We can get our light vehicle bay. Now you need aluminium for your light vehicle. So don't just build oil. And go for oil. You're, you need both resources as USA player. Some factions won't need both resources early on. So keep that in mind. Every faction faction is different. I know the Chimera are quite heavily reliant on oil in the early game, so they don't necessarily need to go for it. And, 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 and. So, keep that in mind. But as a USA player, you want, you're want basically going to want it as soon as you can. Because that's going to be your gateway to proceeding with extra technology. Okay, my chips are built. Building yeah. completed. You can just go for four infantry units and then build a Humvee, but um, I'm going to go for a Striker here because they can hold up to eight infantry units, but I want six because that's the number needed to fully exploit the bank. Reporting for duty, sir. Now, I'm in two minds a bit whether or not having the banks early on is the best strategy, but I know we're going to go with it. Sir. Okay, I'm going to team up this uh, We're on our way. I'm going to left click on the map. I'm going to 
send him over here. Left click again, back to my base. So you'll head over there and we'll go back to him afterwards. Now, um, from here you can go a few ways. You can build some extra power. Construction impossible. And then go for a uh, just extend to boost your economy. We're going to go this route right now. After that, I'm going to upgrade to difficulty. Building two. completed. So we can get more advanced technologies. And the, as you see, I'm floating seven thousand inch oil, which you don't generally want to be doing. You want to be spending all the oil as you get it. I mean, in a proper match, I wouldn't be floating this amount of resources, but for testing purposes and Defcon 2 you available. the basics of the game, I'm, I'm not really worried about it at the moment. But as you get better, you'll understand the main concepts of it. So, the logistics center, this um, building here is where you're going to get upgrades for your um, economy. Um, this one here doubles the speed at which uh, the collector units move, which is useful. Less travel time between uh, depositing and uh, proof chassis so they can uh, increase the load which they carry. And we're going to want this one as well for this. Um, this increases the uh, speed at which refineries absorb the resources around them. And uh, this bar here will fill up Upgrade a lot completed. So the trucks will be carrying a lot more and uh, collecting a lot more as well. So with them underway, now um, we can start thinking about getting Upgrade some more completed. Components. I'll go with a heavy vehicle bay. But as you can see, it requires free power. I can't mouse over the symbol, but um, it's got 2,500 oil, 1,750 aluminium, and three units of power. As you can see here, I don't have any Upgrade more Upgrade completed. So you could go straight for a power plant, which is 500 oil and a thousand aluminium, but that's a lot of aluminium to use early on. So what I recommend you could do is go in for some extra field generators, which generate two. But we need three, so I'm going to build a couple. And these are relatively cheap to build. They are relatively weak as well. So you've got to keep that in mind. As a USA player, you do not want your power to go, because if the enemy... Building you, completed. You lose power to your... Uh, main buildings. You can still operate your barracks, but your vehicle factories and support structures will not be built. Building completed. So, with that built, now I can build the heavy vehicle bay. It uses quite a lot of aluminium to build this structure. So, you make, make sure you have a, a supply. But as you're doing all this, you before you even go for advanced tech, generally you're going to want to get more resources. So I'm going to exploit this field over here with aluminium, covering as many nodes as possible. You can see it's only nine, but once you place the, um, the refinery, and you can see a few nodes here, you get a general idea of how many nodes are around and uh, the area in which they cover. So again, I'm going to face the uh, direction of HQ. Now I'm going to try and build a them over here. But I'm going to show you a little trick as well that you can do. Uh, you, can some, you can do some building completed. Things. So when that's built, you can build. You should be able to build another one about here. So that's this journey. Building completed. Trucks here travel. I don't have to keep this one, I can sell it. Oh building completed. Ah. Make sure it's completed first. That's uh there's a tip right there. So wait for the building to be complete before selling. That was kind of a stupid mistake by me there. But lesson learned. Need some more power. I'm going to build the army now, so that we can start Building completed. So, technology for 
heavy B for me. Do this pill. Building completed. Let's go for a side this time. <laughs> Get a heli pad as well. We have enough power. Building completed. It doesn't say it costs power for the heli pad. So some buildings don't require power. Building completed. Right. On the heavy vehicle bay, we can build Abrams. This is the USA's strongest anti armor. Armor. We've got a couple of those. Also, now we want to research the technology from the armory. Now, for the Abrams, we uh, get the tank urban survival kit, also known as Task One. This will increase the hit points, which the Abrams has. So, Abrams is pretty strong on its own, but with the Task upgrade, It'll um, Building increase its um, effectiveness. So, uh, that's almost done. Upgrade completed. Okay, so once you've got the upgrade, some units require you to upgrade the units into Maximum storage reached. As you can see here, it costs 500 oil. Once it's upgraded, it'll uh, visually show upgrade you. Upgrade completed. And change the units appearance uh, as you can see. But now it's upgrade completed. A lot stronger and also oops has a heavy machine. Oh yeah, that was satellite view by the way. You can click satellite view here. You can make scroll. Or if you hover over it you can see the uh, hockey strip. Uh, Satellite view is useful Upgrade if you're like, completed. trying to micromanage a big battle. But you can select all your buildings and units here. And uh, enemies will show up in red, obviously. And you can see them a lot easier. And you get a nice overview of your base with Satellite view. So, pretty useful. Maximum storage I don't tend reach. to use it very often, but you may find you do. Uh, so yeah, that's the um, the basics of the U.S. Army. Um, from here, you can go to DEFCON 1, which increases your access to DEFCON 1 technology, which allows you to build the rare earth material extraction site, processing plant, which you're going to want. Oh, I forgot all about this guy over here. So uh, yeah, now we caught it. Press U to unload. Once you unload, automatically select all your infantry. We'll do, Sarge. Straight in the bank. Striker, ICD reporting. And send the striker back. So, um, what I'll also do for you guys is I'll um, make another video. Defcon one available. Playing a game, and I'm gonna do one of me reviewing a replay of a game I had last night. Um, it was a game I actually lost against. Um, Cruelty was playing uh, Chimera. He's a very good player, and um, I'm going to analyse the replay and sort of talk through what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, and also see what Cruelty's doing. Because when you lose a game in this game, and you generally wonder to yourself, okay, why did I lose? It's a really good idea to always go through a replay and analyse what mistakes you made and what the enemy did so you can try and counter him. But um, yeah, I'll go into that in another video. So, yep, I'll just quickly show you the DEFCON 1 buildings. Uh, pl place it here, because I, I know it's not going to be further that way. And I should actually... Maximum storage reached. Place it so it's facing HQ. There he goes, he's off to go build that. Um, yeah, this is a rare earth flame. Just build one there. So that'll only store the rare earth. As you can see. 
This is an administration center. This will generate extra oil for you. Building completed. Over time. Which is really useful. Especially when it's all the Building oil completed. resources have dried up here. And you haven't expanded over to here. Which I'll do quickly, actually. I'm going to research the base projection. So it allows you to build a port operation center. Or base even. And that way you can create extra drop off points. Maximum storage reached. So Upgrade completed. Once this is built, there we go, we got eight nodes nearby. Research this upgrade so you generate extra oil from every unit of rare earth and build an extra truck. Okay, so I got the upgrade for base production. I should be able to build a board operations. Upgrade completed. So I'm going to build the FOB. Close to these deposits. Here. Building so completed. Go just here. I'm going to go back. And I'm going to select. Oil field depleted. Refinery. There you go. Oil field depleted. Build one here. Also, I'm going to get this aluminium. Put in here. Vehicles. Maximum storage reached. Another useful upgrade to get is the crystal um, projection project so that the uh, building is upgrade upgrade. completed there you go then so the upgrade they fly you get the upgrade for the uh, recon teams as well if you like scouting the rain upgrade it completed. is very important to be scouting a lot in this game seeing what your enemy is doing you can get into a little survey team at your disposal mode where you're just not really doing a lot you don't know what your enemy's doing and uh, they could be planning an attack. It's bigger than yours, and you wouldn't see it coming until it's too late. So it's always building good to completed. Stay. Oh yeah, defensive buildings. You've got your MG nests that you can dot around your base for extra protection. I'm not a massive fan of playing defensive. Building game. completed. I feel the best defense is being on the offensive. Building yeah. completed. Forcing the enemy to play defensive themselves so that you don't need to worry so much about it. That's just my personal view. Building on. completed. So you see the um, FOBs up. Building you, completed. The trucks here have a closer drop off point so you can generate extra resources away from your base. Now it's a good idea. Just quick base selection. So, um, to put some base defenses around these where they're so far away from your main base. Sir, I'm thrilled to announce that we found oil. Okay. Survey team at your disposal. And yeah, always be scared. We're gonna check this perimeter. Uh, your, your enemy will start up in this area. We're gonna check this so perimeter. Right. And we have some rare earth to show you. Um, get your peacekeeper, which is your. Um, Nuclear missile site. I'm going to build some maximum extra power. storage reached. I'm going to build a DEFCON 2 power generator first, else we will run out of power. This is your nuclear weapon, and you want your Patriot. This will. This is your anti nuke. Boom. So if you see one of these in an enemy U.S. Um, Army's base, you want to rush out a Patriot as soon as possible. They start with building them. completed anti-nuke missile and you want to cover your important buildings right, this is a building completed it's a relatively decent spot because there's an upgrade on the actual building that will allow you to um, cover a wider range building completed because they uh, do a lot of damage to these and basically game enders so yeah you got the upgrade here which increases the damage of the missile okay that then we'll build a couple Extra missile. Well, a missile. We Maximum can do it there, storage reached. Build the missile first, then get the upgrade. It's entirely up to you. Um, if this upgrades the Patriots, range and damage and accuracy. So Patriots can shoot down aircraft as well from your air control terror. I'll show you this quickly again how uh, aircraft work in this game. Next 
missiles. Yeah, you get all your research, um, research upgrades. Just doing all this. Upgrade completed. Building completed. So the air control tower, or center even. Upgrade completed. Got your um, basic aircraft, which you can get off the get go, which only costs um, oil. Good for armor. It, it basically it will tell you what they're good for. Got your Raptor. You got your V2 Spirit. Quite expensive aircraft, but um. They're, they're kind of used, I would say, they're more like Upgrade a Upgrade completed. Role. You just pay for your support. And you can use these to fly in. Resources depleted. And support your troops. Now the best way to micromanage aircraft is to go Upgrade to completed. the view. The cool thing is you can payload. select your aircraft in flight and you can redirect them. As you can see. And they'll... Uh, in the battlefield. So, after a while they're running out of fuel, you can head back to base, or you can click V, or press the Maximum storage here. reached. Evacuating now. And that will uh, send the plane away, and back to base, so you'll fly off the map. But yeah, they appear here. Just designate the target. As you see, the Raptors are pretty fast. Service. They're for other aircraft and uh, helicopters. Pretty useful. And they're also stealthed until they fire as well. I'm out of here! Right. So yeah, that's um, the US Army and all its buildings and structures. I um, hope this helps. And uh, be sure to check Upgrade out some more videos. And um, like and sub if you want. Okay? Peace out.